So we've unboxed the Logitech switch and we've connected it to a couple of systems here so we can walk through how this would function in practice to give the concept of what this device does for us. So we have the switch connected beside me to a Microsoft Teams room system on Windows running on a Lenovo Think Smart Edition Tiny. So this room is ready to go, one touch join, but what if we want to bring our laptop to the meeting and we want to run a meeting on say something like BlueJeans or GoToMeeting or any platform you see that we can run directly from our laptop or maybe we have content on just this laptop that we want to be able to present to the room. So that's exactly what the scenario is for the Logitech switch. So we walk into the room with the switch installed. We plug in either the USB-C or the USB dongle into a laptop with DisplayLink drivers installed and you can see that the switch does exactly what it says. It switches the AV components from the room over to your laptop. So now I have full control over one of the front of room displays the speakers, the microphone, and the camera for the room. So let's switch over to the laptop and show how that would work in practice. So now we're looking at our laptop. You can see from the zoom settings that the camera is now the Logitech Meetup connected to the room system as opposed to the integrated FaceTime camera. If I go to audio, we're no longer using the internal MacBook speakers. We are now using the Logitech Meetup speakers. So now the room system peripherals, those high quality peripherals are now mine to use with the laptop. So we unplug the switch. It's been charging the laptop the entire time. So now you don't need to bring your laptop charger in the room with you and fumble with dongles. It's all done through this single connection. And you can see behind me, the peripherals return to the Microsoft Teams room. It's back to its native state, that default state when we walked in, and it's ready to use with Microsoft Teams now. So what about other systems? Let's go have a look at those as well. That never gets old. So let's talk about a different scenario. Let's talk about a Zoom room running in appliance mode from the Logitech Rally Bar with the Logitech Tap touchscreen. So appliance mode means that the Zoom Room application is running directly from the rally bar that you see here. So there's no need for an additional compute. You're running directly from the bar with a front of room screen and a touch panel. Nice clean install as you can see here from the cart. So we've connected a switch to this device because maybe we don't want to run a Zoom Room. We want to come in with the switch connect it directly to our laptop via the dongle with the USB-C connection. In this particular case, the rally bar is going to recognize the device. It's going to prompt you connecting to your laptop. So once this handshake completes, you're going to have your laptop screen projected onto the front of the room. You'll actually see that the tap device is going to give you pan, tilt, zoom controls, audio controls from the tap device in addition to running the meeting from your device. So from here, if we go into our UC application, BlueJeans, Pexip, GoToMeeting, whatever that is, go into the settings for that application, video, we can again select the Logitech Rally Bar as our video source. That's gonna give us the cool features such as right sight, the auto framing, um, the 15X zoom, the pan tilt zoom capabilities, also go into our audio, we can see that the rally bar audio has already been selected for the speakers and mic, and we're ready to go using the high quality peripherals in the room again. So we're going to unplug the switch. Again, the room returns back to its native Zoom rooms appliance state, and it's ready to go for the next meeting. But what if you want to do a purely BYOD scenario? You don't want to have an appliance, you don't want to have a Windows PC running in the room at all. You just want high quality peripherals such as the Logitech Rally Plus system that you see beside me. That's gonna give you the big speakers, the high quality table mics, the standalone pan tilt zoom rally camera, which we are talking to you on now as a matter of fact. But we want to just be able to bring in our laptop, use those connections. You can absolutely do that using the switch. So we've connected a switch to our Rally Plus system. 
with the front of room display, no compute whatsoever. The compute is now my laptop. And there you go. You can see the camera is activated, the speakers and microphone are activated. My laptop is now projected to the front of room display. Unplug the device, the switch. Room returns back to its standard state. It's ready for the next person to come in, connect their laptop, and use those peripherals for whatever meeting or whatever platform they want using the Logitech switch. Still fun. <laughs>